So in the amines chapter, we have to continue with the reactions of amines. Now last time we saw the preparation of disonium salt. Disonium salt has this particular formula. Usually disonium salt delta na, we can write the formula like this because disonium salt has general name ion. So this is the benzene ring with N2 plus and then X minus. This becomes disonium salt. Now here we are particularly using chloride ion. So it is called as disonium chloride. So we can, the bonding is like this. That benzene ring bonded to N and that nitrogen is bonded to another nitrogen. So this particular nitrogen carries a plus charge and it is associated with a negative ion Cl-. It becomes a salt, so disonium chloride. And we can write the structure in a compact manner like this. That benzene ring with N2 plus and Cl-. So this becomes disonium salt and particularly you call it as Arrhenium disonium salt because aromatic ring ali hai, aromatic compound ala hai and tala N2 plus Cl minus attached a hai. So arene indicates aromatic compound, word arene. So we have to see reactions of arene disonium salt. First is Sandmeyer reaction. This we have also observed in halogen derivative, this particular reaction. What is done? The arene disonium salt, this particular salt. So generally we are writing it as AR. So AR indicates aromatic ring, benzene ring. AR N2 plus X minus, it can be treated with CuCl, that is copper chloride, copper bromide or copper cyanide, any of the salts. Along with CuCl it requires HCl and it forms ARCl and nitrogen gas. ARCl, so you will find nitrogen goes out and to the aromatic ring, the halide gets attached, Cl. Similarly, CuBr and HBr, here ARBr is bonded, nitrogen is liberated out and copper cyanide mother, along with the aromatic ring, there will be cyanide getting attached and nitrogen is going out in the reaction. So this reaction we have done in halogen derivative also when we were seeing preparation of aromatic halide compound. That we have seen the Sandmeyer's reaction. Next is Getterman reaction. At the Getterman reaction, the change kaya hai. The starting substance is same. That is arene disonium salt. This is treated with two possibilities are there. Copper powder and HCl or copper powder and HBr. So when HCl is used, there is formation of ARCl with nitrogen. And when copper with HBr is used, there is formation of ARBr and nitrogen is evolved. Next is reaction with Ki. With Ki, when the arene disonium salt reacts, there is formation of ARI. Though you will find all aryl halides getting formed. Aromatic ring with halogen is getting formed. So aryl halide is formed here along with nitrogen getting liberated out and Kx. Kx will be the byproduct. And right, JK ethe, suppose Cl minus acid that it goes with K and iodide. Aryl iodide is formed as the main product. Next is reduction reaction. In reduction reaction, the arene disonium salt is treated with phosphorus acid H3PO2 and H2. In presence of copper chloride, there is formation of ARH. ARH forms are this is formation of benzene. Aromatic ring with H. So aromatic ring with H1 is nothing but benzene along with nitrogen getting liberated out. Then we have H3PO3 getting formed and HCl. Similarly, the same reaction can take place in presence of alcohol, ethyl alcohol. In spite of using the acid and CuCl, the reaction can be carried out in presence of alcohol, but the products formed are by products are different here. The main product is benzene again along with nitrogen but there is formation of acetaldehyde and HCl. Next is reaction of phenol formation. Book mother heading delay reaction of phenol formation but her reaction kaya say this is hydrolysis because water is getting added. Mother the hydrolysis word dila nahi but we can understand that this is hydrolysis reaction. So this is water is added and H2SO4 is acting as catalyst. So arene disonium salt it is hydrolyzed in presence of acid 
At 283 Kelvin, it forms phenol. So AROH. Phenol is formed along with nitrogen and HX. Water madla OH combines with AR and H combines with X while nitrogen is liberated out. Next is reaction with erine sulfonyl chloride. Very, very important reaction. And such reactions can come in amines chapter as uh, reactions. They can be asked. The reaction with erine sulfonyl chloride, this is called as Hinsberg test. This is benzene sulfonyl chloride. Erine sulfonyl chloride has common words are erine. But particularly, we use it benzene sulfonyl chloride. How will be the structure? Here is the structure. We have benzene ring with S double bond O, down also double bond O and Ca. This is benzene sulfonyl and chloride. This is a very important reagent because it is used to distinguish between a primary, secondary and a tertiary amine. Earlier also we have seen a acid that was used to treat that can distinguish between primary, secondary and tertiary amine was nitrous acid. But that's a fact that the primary amines are reaction hai. secondary and tertiary is not there. So it's a benzene sulfonyl chloride is treated with primary amine. So what do you find here purposely we have written NH2 here and C2H5 here on this side. What does this help out? We can easily correlate here that H and Cl is lost and there is a condensation product formed. The two reactants combine together and HCl is going out. So you have benzene ring with SOO directly is getting bonded to N in the product and C2H5. HCl. Now to the nitrogen, to the nitrogen we find only one H present. This one H is acidic in nature. The hydrogen that is attached to nitrogen because nitrogen carries lone pair of electron. So this hydrogen is acidic. This acidic, due to this acidic hydrogen, the compound that is formed, that is N-ethyl. It is called as N-ethyl benzene sulfanamide. The compound is called as sulfanamide. This compound dissolves in base. Why does it dissolve? Because nitrogen carries the hydrogen that is acidic in nature. So this particular product that is formed, it dissolves in base. This is the reaction of primary amine. <clears throat> now we come to secondary amine. In secondary amine, again, when benzene sulfonyl chloride is treated with diethyl amine. Diethyl indicates two ethyl groups are attached to nitrogen. Again, HCl will be lost here. So purposely we have written H on this side. HCl will be lost. Baki several groups combine kara. So benzene ring with SOO and S directly getting bonded to nitrogen in the product. Nitrogen la we have S directly getting bonded to nitrogen with C2H5 and C2H5. Now here in the product nitrogen directly does not carry any hydrogen attached to it. Hence, this compound does not dissolve in base because it does not contain any hydrogen. Hydrogen that is attached to nitrogen is acidic. But ya compound made, as there is no hydrogen attached to nitrogen, the product formed. The product formed is N-N-diethyl benzene sulfonamide. This compound does not dissolve in base as nitrogen does not carry any hydrogen attached to it. So this is this can be used practically in the lab to test the primary amine, secondary amine. And what about tertiary amines? As tertiary amines, mother, there is no hydrogen attached to nitrogen. If I take a tertiary amine, triethyl amine, sulfuric acid group in R, 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 C2H5, C2H5, C2H5 in tertiary amine. So you will find no H directly attached to nitrogen in tertiary amines. And because of that, there will be no reaction. There will be no H for going out. How will be the substitution reaction taking place? So there will be no reaction of tertiary amines. So in this way, this, this reactant, I mean this reagent, benzene sulfonyl chloride can be used to distinguish between a primary, secondary and tertiary amine. This can also be asked in MCQ, that which is the reagent that distinguishes the three amines or the reaction directly can be asked that how will you distinguish between primary, secondary and tertiary amine. So in this case, you have to suggest which reagent will be used. You have to suggest. They will not tell you. You have to just, they will just ask, 
to differentiate between the three. Then which reagent will be used? Benzene sulfur and chloride. And along with the reactions, you have to show that what will happen. Ki first compound will dissolve in base, second will not dissolve, and third will not form the product only because it does not carry H. So go through the reactions properly.